Hey everybody, Tom Hazard from Linux Academy here. We are down in Orlando, Florida at Microsoft Ignite. And so today, there were a lot of big announcements around Azure certification. So we wanted to create a set of videos for everybody here that's going to cover in detail everything that was announced today. So in this video, we're just going to cover some of the main highlights, what was generally announced and what uh, certification should be going away. And then the next couple of videos after this, we're going to cover the 100, 200, 300 level exams that were just released into beta. But I'm not the Azure expert in the room. We have with us Chad Kroll here, who is the Azure expert in the room and one of our Azure training architects at Linux Academy. So why don't you just give us the high level summary of what happened today? Like what certifications are being deprecated? What are they being deprecated? And how many new ones were announced today? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of changes in the Azure certification area. So we have three groups of certifications. We have basically our associate level, uh, developer level, and expert level as far as Azure administration. And those are each divided up into two exams, AZ100, AZ101, AZ200-201, and AZ300-301. And each of them also has a bridge exam for the previously um, already running uh, test that you can take throughout the, uh, the, the end of this year. A lot of, lot of changes there, but basically Microsoft said that they were announcing these because the uh, pre-existing certifications were, were too extensive, too much to cover, uh, a, lot, a lot to bite off, so they split them up into the two exams, and that's what they're doing moving forward. So, so what were the three that are being deprecated? So the three that are being deprecated is are the uh, 7533, the 7532, and the 7535. So each one of those three exams being replaced by two exams, correct? Yes. And then, and so that will be, so for the AZ, uh, for the 100 level, which one is that, is that replacing? So, so the AZ 100 is replacing the 7533. So sorry, so 7533, so that's being broken up into the 101 and 102. 100 and 101. Oh, right, so 100 and 101, and then the 102 is going to be what they call a bridge exam, so if you already have the 7535 um, or 533. I'm trying to see. Now, this is why I'm glad that Microsoft is trying to simplify this because all these these different naming conventions can be confusing for me. Yeah. Um, so then the 102 becomes a bridge exam. So you already have that that existing certification. You can just take the 102, and you can just and then you can earn that certification as opposed to having going back and taking the 100 and the 101. Exactly. Okay. So that seems to be so that's the format that they're taking for the three that have been deprecated or that are going to be deprecated at the end of this year. So if you're studying for any of those uh, existing certifications now, you have to take them before the end of the year, so like it's before Jan 1, um, and if you already have them, you can just go and take the bridge exam in that particular category. We'll get into more details of the different levels, the 100, 200, 300, in the next set of videos coming after this. So how many, uh, so they deprecated three today, um, but obviously they're available to the end of the year, but what? how many were announced today, and what are the status of when you can take them? Yeah, so there's seven total. Uh, the AZ, so two from each uh, kind of section, if you will, the AZ 100, 101, 200, 201, 300, 301, and then they also announce a DevOps certification that's going to be coming soon. Okay. So, so seven, seven new certification exams announced today, I'm correct in that? Yes. Okay, and six of them are live right now, I meaning you can schedule to go take them as of today. You can take them as of today. The AC 100 and 101 have been released for general availability. The uh, 200, 201, 300, 301, those four exams are still in beta, but will be uh, coming out of beta soon. The important thing to keep in mind there is that beta doesn't mean that the exam is going to change, right? So they're going to—they're not going to change the format of the questions. The um, criteria and the objectives are going to stay the same. It's just a matter of um, getting enough in the example base for Microsoft to be able to. Um, you know, release that for general availability, get the, uh, the, the pooling of questions right. Perfect. Well, there's a quick summary of what was announced today, and kind of the structure and format of what is going on with the Azure certifications. And in the next couple sets of videos, we're going to be covering the 100, 200, and 300 levels in more detail. So stay tuned for those. They should be coming right up. And for Tom and Chad here at uh, Microsoft Ignite, 
thanks for watching, and I hope everyone is enjoying all of our courses over at Linux Academy.